Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ayu ala habba Shirk Polytheism Worshipping other than Allah Or worshipping along with Allah Someone or something Is a grave And in fact it's the worst sin you can do Worse than a person killing their own parents or, or something evil is that. Worse than terrorism and all these other wicked acts of evil. Worse than same-sex marriage and all these other things which other societies propagate. That worse than all of that, the gravest sin, is that you set up a rival, a partner, an associate with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That you worship other than Him. Or you worship along with him someone. So this entails, Ayyul Habba, if you supplicate to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who did not accept that in his lifetime, nor did he sanction that in his Sunnah, nor did the Sahaba Radiallahu Ta'ala Majma'in do this. If you do this act, this is the gravest sin. And no matter, even if you feel that you're revering and loving the messenger and that this is an expression of love, you have no sanction from the religion to do so. And then you have to ask yourself, what distinguishes me between the Catholics? What distinguishes me between the Christians who say Jesus is the Son of God and that they supplicate in the name of Jesus? Alayhi salatu wasalam. Ayyul habba, avoid shirk by any and all means and learn the supplication of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he said Allahumma inni a'udhu bika and ushrika bika wa ana a'lamu astaghfiruk li man a'lamu the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave us this beautiful supplication when we fear having fallen into shirk whether it be the minor shirk of showing off or the major shirk which requires for us to make toba and makes and 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 and, and be away from that and, and uh, you know establish the shahada in case we left the fold of Islam this is in the case of, of someone leaving Islam and coming back having fallen into shirk like some of the people who apostated and then they came back to Islam min fadlillah by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the grace and mercy of Allah to give you guidance to give you direction ayyullah habba Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al kareem or first will do uh, that that supplication that we mentioned Allahumma inni a'udhu bika nushrika bika wa na'ana bas taghfiruk li min a'lamu Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Prophet alayhi salatu salam gave us a supplication ayyul ahabba which means O oh Allah I seek refuge in you from committing shirk you know associating partners polytheism in those things which I know in the and and in the ways in which I don't know. So that covers you, Ayyul Habba. That if you fell into shirk by showing off, doing actions of worship for the sake of the people, or you did it for the uh, instead to share with Allah in, in someone, whether it be Allah and His Messenger, والسلام, whether you did it as an act of worship to the Prophet, والسلام, or the Prophet Jesus, والسلام, or the Angel Jibreel, والسلام, or whoever, or your Wali or your saint so-and-so, that this is shirk. And Allah prohibits that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al -kareem, which lets us know that shirk is so serious. And Allah does not forgive it if you die upon it. Call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Inna Allah la yaghfiru in yushrika bi wa yaghfiru ma duna thalik liman yasha. Verily Allah does not forgive that you associate partners with Him. But He forgives other than that for whomsoever He pleases. Meaning that if you die, ayu al habba, on shirk, on worshiping Allah, supplicating to Allah, uh, other than Allah, supplicating to the Prophet, alayhi salatu salam, supplicating to Wali Fulan, supplicating to your grandparents, your ancestors, your tribal chief, your sheikh, uh, your, your spiritual advisor, whoever, that you don't raise your hand and supplicate to them, whether they're living or dead. But even more so if they're dead, because they can't help you. They couldn't help themselves. They could not stop their death. I ask you, O oh you who believe in only worshiping Oliya and supplicating and sacrificing for Oliya, sacrificing animals and 
all these other uh, unsanctioned practices, I challenge you to come up with support for these practices. Did the Prophet ﷺ do this or did he, all of his, did he prohibit these things? Can we call these things bid'ah hasana? These are good acts of uh, innovation? Come on, ayyul habba, wake up, avoid this. Avoid shirk by any means necessary. Run from shirk as if you're running from the plague. And worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Inna Allah la yaghfiru an yushrika bihi wa yaghfiru ma dun thalikum liman yasha. Even if you have the intention that you're not worshiping Allah, but you're just doing those actions, they're still considered worship. They're still considered worship to other than Allah. You can't sacrifice an animal and leave it on the grave as a some sort of uh, whatever, even if you don't consider it worship, as a tribute. And you can't do any of these things, no matter what you call it. And we'll end Ayyu al habba by one very important qaida that the ulama they mentioned, especially the ulama of the Sula Fiqh, and they use this in uh, uh, Ittiqad as well. Ayyu al habba al ibra bi haqaiq that the ibrah, the proof in something, is in its reality, not in what you call it. So although they call it bidah hasana, or although they call it uh, coming closer to the awliya, or tawassal bil awliya, coming closer to the saints, or using seeking intercession from the saints, ayyullah habba, it still follows under shirk. And if they call it bid'ah hasana, that doesn't change the fact that the Prophet ﷺ prohibited all innovation. Kullu bid'atin dalala. Kullu bid'atin dalala. All bid'ah is in the hellfire. Uh, all bid'ah is misguidance. And every misguidance is leading to the fire. So when Messenger ﷺ said, And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our sins and protect us from shirk. And bless us with ilm nafir, uskin tayyibah. Wa amin al-muttaqabili wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.